in which a subem is the terminology. We use a script, it's a subscript, a subem. A normally is, okay, the sequence is suppose A1 is the real value associated with the N equal one, comma A2 and so on, comma A3. A is a real and M no, and it's natural. I suppose that it's given the explicit format. M minus one, divided by it's given. Okay, sometimes it's given like that, sometimes no, it's enclosed in the curly bracket like that. But it doesn't matter, it's not important. Now, suppose that the question say, find the first five uh, term of this series. What mean that? You need to find A1, A2, a3, A4, A5, yeah, you want one more, A6. Find the six first items, element, and the sequence. To so say you have a lie, and it go one, it's obvious, it's zero, no? Because the computation is one minus one, but let me try, let me try. One minus one, so you suppose plugging in one, n equal one. One minus one divided by one. It's obvious that zero divided by one is zero. Uh -huh. This, the number two is two minus one divided by two, a one half. A three is three minus one divided by two, a two third. And so on, easy, easy. Four minus one, Divided by four, three go on four. A fifth is five minus one divided by five is four fifth. And six is obviously is five over six. It's clear the partner because the numerator is a fraction. Because a numerator is one less than the, the denominator. And so we can predict what the next a seven. Oh, A7 would be 6 over 7. And so, if you want, you can write the sequence like that. 0, comma, 1 half, comma, 2 third, comma, 3 over 4, uh -huh. comma, 4 fifth, comma, 6 seven. And to say default, you suppose that the first element is for N equal 1, A1, A2 is 1 half, and so you represent like that, and you put three periods in the gate, get this part and continue forever to the infinity and approach it to infinity. And approach it to infinity. Because you know, the natural number is totally uh, unlimited. It's infinity. But infinity positive, never infinity based. Example two. Clear or not confusing? Uh -huh. Let me see. Well, I forgot. I forgot put it on my laptop. In the laptop, I see the the match is uh, putting on there. Okay. To say now, I can't go. You say okay, no? In the chat. Let me see. Chat. Clear. It's a change. Always tell me. Okay, now, 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 let's move on to the second example. Yes, yeah, similar, but bring me new idea. Okay, I want to illustrate. Suppose A sub M, is the explicit formula, is a negative one raised to the N power, uh, multiplication time one over N. And the same idea, expand the sequence using the first five element in the sequence. So A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. Okay. For N equal 1, A negative 1 raised to the 1 power divided by 1 over 1. Because I assume that N is equal 1. Because so a negative 1 to the 1 power is so the negative 1. A negative 1 times 1 is negative. The first element in this sequence is negative. 
And the second, mm, 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 look, is negative one square because it's two power, power two, mm -hmm, time one half. So it's, it's differently because when you raise, when you raise negative one to the even exponent, the answer is positive one. So actually it's positive one half. Positive one half. As so you see, a little bit understand what is the part. It's super easy. It's negative one QB power one third. So it's says comma negative one third. Notice que es the most important que I want to betray in this. Que uh, this sequence que have this behavior is called alternate. 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 Alternating sequence. What mean alternating? Alternating mean que one element is positive, another is negative, another is positive, and alternating the size. Uh -huh. No, he always is like that, Professor. No. Uh -huh. No necessary. So sometimes in, the, in this case, the, uh, the order even two, four, are positive. Suppose in the negative uh, A4 is negative one raised to the four power time one over four. A positive because the exponent is even. You know very well that negative one raised to the even exponent is positive. However, negative one raised to the odd exponent is negative. It's one over four. Uh huh. Uh, here is well negative one to the fifth power. Time one over five and negative one fifth. And uh, to finish that, comma positive one over four, comma negative one over five. Okay. To say it's easy, it's the same, but I want to illustrate this behavior because the alternating. And no necessary, for example, I change completely the behavior. Suppose that I put it in the explicit formula negative one raised to the m plus one, no m, you know, m plus one time one over m. Well, it's the same value, all right, let's see here. It's, I mean, it's, uh, it's positive, will change to negative to positive? No, 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 it's exactly the same one to explain now, look. Um, suppose that uh, this is the explicit formula in the first scenario they try to explain, but I suppose that I change something, I change uh, in the alternating part, get a negative one, I put n plus one. So it's the same sequence, the same value, but the sign change differently. This is a positive one, negative one half, a positive one third, a negative one over four, and so on. One fifth positive. And remember, this continues forever, da da da. da, da, da. Here, I mean, I put if it is even. Uh, all right, I don't understand very well. I'll give you the microphone and ask me directly. What do you, what, what is your, your issue? What is your problem? I'm not sure if it's even, it will change from negative to positive. In this case, yes, because when you, you need to know that when you have a negative one and you raise to the even exponent, the answer is positive. However, when you have negative one and you raise to the odd exponent, the answer is negative. This is clear for you. I need the extrapolation. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Relax. It's easy. Negative one square is negative one times itself. Two times. And negative times negative is positive. And one times one is one. However, negative one to the QB power is exactly the same, but three times. So we have three negative. Oh, negative is negative one. Similar situation happened to the any e -A odd exponent, to the fifth power, to the seventh power, to the ninth power. However, this happened when you have rate negative one to the four power, to the sixth power, to the eight power. Clear? Super clear? Super. Okay, okay. Inside this, 
I want, I want to explain one thing is super, super important, super, super important in calculus. Remember, this is pre-calculus, que es the, the subject que uh, before calculus. So, so any tools, well, not necessarily any, 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 but in general, uh, the most of tools that we study here, we use in calculus. This is the intention, this is the idea, que es summation notation. This is related perfectly with the sequence. Summation, notation. And suppose now I have the sequence. Suppose now I have the sequence. But in this case, I want adding A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus uh huh. Da da da. Remember, three period indicate it continue forever. So the next would be a to the four power, and so plus e we ending in a twenty. This is too long. I omit four, five, six. But the fantastic way to indicate this idea is using the new notation is summation notation. The summation notation is at the beginning a little bit weird, but it's clear. Look, you come one symbol, mathematical symbol, that actually is a Greek letter. And Greek, Greek letter is called Sigma. It's the name of this Sigma. Of course, capital Sigma, because we have two, two Sigma. Low case is like that, and capital is like that. Uh, so now, this, this symbol, okay, Everyone in the world understand very well okay, summation notation. Then you put AK, que is the name of the plissy formula that you want to add in, and you copy the the, the limit, so the upper and lower limit. Suppose we, it's important to understand that we have one index variable. Normally, the letter gets using to the index variable is I, I don't know why, J, K, I use K here. And this K, go, 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 from, from, K equal one, you put a lower limited, lower bound, in one, you start in one, because this is one of these, and to the 20, K is the upper bound. And this is equivalent to this. This is too long. This is a disadvantage. And this is a short condensing. Uh -huh. And this is good. And the idea now is I want to teach how you working and manipulate using summation notation. Okay. Uh -huh. Pre previous to this, I want to explain one example that maybe clarify much better summation notation. Okay. Summation from K1 to phi. Uh -huh. and inside you copy the explicit formula for the sequence, the one over K. Uh -huh. Okay, normally we use it before M, and we use in K, it's the same. It's, it's, uh -huh. N is another very, very popular index variable. M, I, J, okay. We use it in general, any variable is the most popular use. Okay, this is equivalent to say k equal one and one over one, k equal two is in the middle and between one and five, one half, plus one third, plus one over four, plus one over five, and here it stops because five is the last. Super. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. I suppose they have another. Yes. I think what? Uh -huh. Nuclear. Copper nuclear. No risk. No more risk. Uh -huh. Specification. What part is nuclear? I need more detail to, to help you. I missed the example. Say again? I missed the example. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. The example is, oh, I try 
to explain how we expand. So we, we condense it in that direction and we expand in that direction. So it's giving the summation notation. Uh -huh, to say now you expand. How you expand? Well, we start in one here, one over one. And suppose I re plug it in one in case, I replace. No K anymore. If one, because one is the upper, over, upper, no, sorry, lower number, lower limit. And this is the upper limit. Okay, so now in between one and five, we have two, three, and four, no? So our um, summation notation contain one, two, three, four, and five elements. The first is one, the second is one half. You got two, but two, you substitution here inside the explicit formula of the series. Plus one third, plus one over four, plus one over five. Clear now? Thank you. Okay, cool. No, it's my pleasure. Anytime. Okay. No, no, no. Let's do it by word. Let's do it by word. For example, I have one summation, long, long, long summation. Okay. I I have totally expanded. Bam, bam, bam. Uh -huh. you said for me, it's too long. Continue right. One, five, six, seven, and ending in nine. Nine to the second part. You said, what is my goal? My goal now is write the summation notation associated with this. It is exactly equivalent. It means the same thing. I say, I, I, I try to investigate the partner of the sequence. Oh, this part is a square. Every every natural number, let me call M or I or K or J, whatever you want, is an index variable, a square. It's a my explicit formula. Can okay, generate generate this sequence from one n equal one to nine. Bam! This is exactly the same equivalent to this long summation. Cool. Cool or oh, no? Okay, so you allow me now to study how we manipulate with the summation of this. Okay, okay. Well, I want to study the property, the most important property of summation notation can allow me manipulate in that way. Okay, I guarantee you 100% gets easier that way. Okay, property. We have different property. Of course, you don't need to memorize. Only you have in the paper, in your notebook, and you use it in the time that you want. For example, the property number one is easy, straightforward. You understand? Say the summation from k equal one. I call the index variable k. I call not always, but in this k, yes, the lower limited one, starting one and ending in m in general. And we have a sub k. A new multiplication by one c. Okay, one c represents a constant. Okay, it's a constant, and a constant is any any real number two, three, rather than three, whatever pi. Uh -huh. It's a non necessary computer. When you have a constant inside the summation symbol, you factor out. You put outside. It's okay. This is logical or no? Okay, example. Property one, this is definition. 
example que explain somehow the property one. Su voz. Summation. From K1 to 20. Of phi K squared. Okay, okay, okay. So I see que inside the summation we have phi. Que phi represent this constant C. Que you can write inside, but you, the property say you can write outside the summation. Like a common factor. Uh -huh. so this is a relatively easy. Compute that, that part separately and after multiplication by phi. This is the idea behind the property number one. Do you follow me? Do you follow me? Yes. Property number two, when you have summation and inside, yes, and inside the summation, we have two sequence, two sequence. So A sub K plus or minus B sub K is two sequence. Can you explain it again? Yes, of course. I, I It's super easy. Let me show you. Let me show you. In this example, in this example, look, Miss Mori. In this example, in this example, a summation from K1 to 20 of 5 K squared. Suppose K, I don't know that property. Okay, okay, I try to do my best. This is 5, 1 square, because we start in 1 here, plus 5, 2 square, because in between 1 and 20, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. But I put dot, 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 because I know the repetition was the partner. And the last one is phi 20 squared. This is clear, right? However, the property, mm -mm -mm, don't want that you are doing it that way. No, because I saw that phi is common factor. And you factor out. So you put a phi uh -huh, inside the new parenthesis. We have, of course, we have one square plus two square. And so, 3 squared plus, ta, 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 plus 20 squared. That is a reason 20 squared. So that is a reason that you factor out 5 outside the summation. And again, I try to condensing this information in summation notation, like a K1 to 20 of the just K squared. Clear? Super. Super. Okay. The property number two I try to explain now is very, very straightforward. It's, it's elementary. Suppose that you have no one summation. No, no, no. We have two summation. Two summation, no, two sequences, sorry. We have one summation symbol, only one, from K1, we suppose, to M. And inside we have two sequences. A and B. And you have in between them plus or minus. As you said, this is valid. The thing I try to explain is valid for addition or subtraction. And I said, definitely we can separate like a two summation. One summation for the A sub K, one summation for the B sub K. Don't forget the specification, the limit or the bound. Mm -hmm. I separate, I separate plus or minus in between them because there's plus in some example and minus in another example. And you, a Caesar, in my opinion, compute separately this part and this part. Okay? This is a linear property. So this and this together. So any operator in calculus, operator, operator, in this case, the operator that we have studied, operator that we are studying, this is summation notation, this operator. But in calculus, you study another operator, and the operator that satisfies the property one and the property two is linear operator. Okay, basically, you break it down 
si es several, one, two, three, you separate one by one separately, connecting by plus or minus, depending the operation, that in medio And any constant gets multiplied in the sequence of the function and calculus you put outside like a common factor. Okay? Property number three. This is a little bit more complicated to understand. Suppose you have summation from k equal one to m of the a sub k. And you can separate, break it down into summation. Because I need, you, you maybe don't understand why I need to separate. But in, in the example that I, I put after that, this is, remember, this is theoretical part. Property, 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 and after we apply the property in the example. You can separate into piece. Okay, for example, one can go from one to M, A, M is complete intermediate value, suppose, uh, M is in between one and M. I to say I, I separate, I stop. Suppose that M, well, I have an example after, but okay, okay. Suppose uh, M is a big number, and uh, M not, it's in between. It's intermediate, I select intentionally. And so now the second summation plus, of course, plus A from K equal M plus one to M. Make sense of this or not? Confusing. Look, suppose they have a sequence. And this sequence go from 1 to 100. But for some reason that you don't see now, but I, I promise I explain your moment, uh, you separate into. The first one, the, the, the explicit formula is the same for both. But I want, okay, you start here, M1 to 80. This is like an M, it's intermediate value between one and 100. And the second start from K equal 81 to one. Make sense, it's clear or not? It's clear, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, it's obvious. But it's important. It's important because I promise that we are using but on right now. Not in the, in the first example, when I finish the property. Property number four, guy. Property number four is supposed, ah, important, important. Important and easy to understand. Look, summation from K1 to M. But the explicit formula is just a constant, C. And so this is C, K is independent of K. It has the same number. Summation n time is the multiplication n times time. So you can, of course, convert T, the summation and multiplication. No? Example, explanation, look, suppose K1 to 5. And the constant inside is 20. So C, in our example, is 20. Well, this is 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Five times, no? from one to five, we have five elements. No? And this is 100, no? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And uh, this is what is the easy way. Uh, so you're using the property number four, you multiply that number and that number. And so says five times twenty is one. It, it, this is happening when inside the summation we have constant. See, we have variable. No, only when it's in constant. Okay. Property number five. Now this formula that we I study now is very very frequently using in calculus one. Look, summation, uh, uh, only be, become substitution. No, no substitution. No substitution in what? In the number four. And the number three property. You say no risk. 
o Morris. Miss. Uh -huh. Subtraction. Ah, si es subtraction es the same. Si es subtraction es the same. Ok, remember. This symbol es summation. No subtraction. This symbol es summation. Uh -huh. Subtraction may be is in between two sequences. So, suppose you have one sequence que es, I don't know, 20 plus uh, 5K. From K1 to 5. Okay. And so you apply the property you know so far, property number 3 and property number 4, but be patient. I promise I bring a lot of examples. You separate this into summation. And another summation is from K1 to 5 of K alone. And you compute this one. Well, this is easy. I did that, but it's 100. It's another formula that I want to play now in the property file. Okay? And the property file. We have, for example, summation for K from K1 to L. Actually, this is summation of the first uh, M natural number. So say 1 plus, plus 1, 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus blah, blah, blah. You see that now it's not multiplication. Because the multiplication was one is the same, no? In this case, no, it's different. To M. And the formula, the magic formula, the magic formula to compute that is M, M plus one, divided by. Uh, I want to explain one uh, very, very uh, nice example of this formula. And you're supposed to understand very well. I, they are there one story of the one important mathematician. Okay, this mathematician is taking third degree in elementary school, and the teacher to watch the time, put the assignment, adding the first uh, 100 number. Entonces, the majority of the students, well, no, no, let me, perdón, es, suppose 98, 97, 98, 99, and 100. No? This is the assignment. Adding this by hand, guys. No calculate. Because in this time, eh, the calculator do not exist. Then the majority of the students do it in the traditional way. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10, today is too long. However, la, eh, eh, pues, eh, the name of this mathematician was mm, Laplace. Laplace adding differently. Laplace say, well, so you adding the first number and the last number, okay, 1 plus 100 is 101. Makes sense, right? You are now the second and the number after, so before the 100, it says 2 plus 99 101. Wow. So this is part of repeated 3 plus 98 and 101. So, how many I can format 50 couple of the 101? So, say 50 times multiplication 101 is. 5,000 feet. And she or he solving the the problem in five seconds. And another student don't finish in in five hours. So this is the foundation about this formula. However, this is this is a particular example. It's not the proof of this formula. The proof of the formula I promise that we are doing last class. I don't know if it may be in the last moment of this class. Uh -huh. However, let's do, suppose, again, the Laplace example was sigma from K1 to 100. Okay. And you detect, ah, oh, I can use in that formula. Who is M? 100. So 100, multiplication by 100 plus 1, 
It's a formula. Look, 100. I replace n for 100 divided by 2. Well, 100 plus 1 is 101. And 100 divided by 2 is 50. And the multiplication is this. Okay. And nobody do it by hand, one by one. Hello. Clear? Okay, I don't know. Summation notation. Amazing. Property number. Uh -huh. The proof of this formula is not complicated, but it's it's stopping for the next lecture. Property number six and property number seven. That's it. And we are ready to start exam. A summation from K1 to M. But now it's a square, no the one, two, three, no one square. Hi, hello. Is let me erase something wrong. It's K square. So what so you expand this is one square plus two square plus three square 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 and so bam 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 bam. And ending in n square. And the formula is different. Is M n plus one and two n plus one sorry divided by six uh -huh, i promise in next class i prove this i prove this and also another get cubic okay, is the most important you need to know for calculus okay cubic okay is one cubic plus two cubic plus three cubic Plus, taka, 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 plus n cubed. The formula is different. It is n squared, n plus 1 squared, divided by 4. Okay? Okay, so now you have the formulas, you have the property in your notebook. Now we're ready to apply application in the exam. Okay, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven example, I guess. Okay, look. May I erase the board? Yes or no? Yes, good job. Look, example one, to understand the property and how we manipulate the summation. Example one. Bueno, we have summation from k equal 1 to 5 of 3k. Compute that without calculate. Well, yeah, calculator is in the last part, but not adding one by one. Hello, hello, hello. You see, wow, 3 is a common factor. I factor out any constant. And you know, depending of k, you can put outside the summation notation. And this looks like similar to the formula of the property number five. And the property number five say three times m, but in a five. So it's a five times five plus one, k six divided by two. Do you understand where I come from five and six and two? Yes or no? No, no. No, okay, I suppose. Remember the formula. Compare property number five. I want to copy again, good talk. I want to copy again, good talk. Summation from K1 to M of K is equal M, M plus one divided by two. In our specific example, N is five. You can see five plug in here, is this five. And n plus 5 is 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. This 6 is this. And the formula included 2. Multiplied by 3. The 3 was the constant. I put outside the game at the beginning. And you get one of the rest is just calculator. Okay, by the way, it's 5 times 6 is 30. Divided by 2, 15. 15 times 3, 45. That's it. Thank you, sir. 
Alô? Escutou? Yes. Oh. Basically, the only thing that you should do is associate our problem with the one property. No? Uh, the answer is 45. 45. 45. Okay. Let's do another easy, 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 easy. Example two. Summation from K1 to 20 of inside the parenthesis we have sequence and the explicit formula for this sequence is 5k plus 3. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody compute this like that. No, 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 no. I separate into summation. Uh -huh. And the first summation we have 5k. Get that bar. And the other summation you have 3. Get that bar. And both are from k1 to 20. From k1 to 20. And what is the operation in between them? Plus. Because that plus is that plus. I separate like that. Now, to compute it, super easy. This is very similar. This phi is a common factor, factor out. Oh, this again, one more time, we're using the formula for the property number five. And this is the property number five. I remember the say is M is 20 in this example. Multiplied by 21, guess M plus one, divided by two. Plus, and this case, no. It was a three constant, and constant is Caesar because the multiplication of this and this is 60. 20 times 3 is 60. Uh huh. So I put in my own calculator. Uh, this is 1050 for 60. It's equal 1110. Okay, fine. Do you understand very well the manipulation? Sir, sir. Uh huh. Go ahead. Where did you get twenty-one? Twenty-one. Uh huh. Look, the formula is. I repeat again. The formula is m m plus one divided by two. It's the formula for that summation that includes only k. To m k. When is k? Like this example, k k. Using that formula. It's just n, and our problem is twenty. So it's 20, and so it's 20 plus 1, okay, 21. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. Excellent. Okay, example three. Example three is a little bit weird, but I put intentionally because sometimes you can find problem in which you cannot start in one, you start in zero, in calculus two. Start in one, or start in zero, or start in two, or start in three. And so you need to be aware to what is the to the manipulation on this because any formula that we have in my notebook now is starting one. And what happens when it's starting zero? Well, okay, it's easy. Because the one extra step, you can um, split this summation and for example, one part is for k zero. For k zero is zero squared minus four. No? I'm plugging in zero here. Plus the rest is one, two, three, four, five. We can condense it by that from k1 to 14 of k squared minus four. Do you understand this idea? We don't finish. This is just the beginning. Uh huh. Because what is the reason I do that? Because my formulas is under the supposition the starting one. See, so starting zero, mm, mm, one, okay. I can put outside the zero part. But actually, my problem now is reduce it, negative four, 
plus, and now I dedicate to working with this, okay, summation from K1 to 14 of K squared separately, minus another summation because it's the linear property, I separate this and this, minus four K1 to 14. Okay, I split this binomial, like a two summation, no? Okay, no problem, I understand. Now, 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 this is a negative four. Plus, now this summation is exactly the same of the property number six, to which we told before. And remember, the property number six say m, m plus one, but now we have extra two m plus one. Okay, let me copy here. The formula say m, m plus one, 2m plus 1 divided by 6. And this is the formula I'm using to compute this. Who is m? m my product 14. It's a 14 times 14 plus 1 is 15. That is a 14. In our specific example, this is 15. One more. And multiplication by, by 29. Welcome from 29. Because uh, 14 times 2 is 28 plus 1 is 29, divided by 6. And this is the computation, the part. And this is super easy because it's a constant, and constant is multiplication 14 times 4. Using the property number 1. Aha, uh -huh. now ready, ready, ready. Uh, well, negative 4 is negative 4. Plus multiplication in the calculator 14, 15. 29 divided by 6. The answer is 1050. Minus 14 times 4 is 56. And everything together is 955. Cool? The idea is at the beginning, it looked like confusing because we're using the property, but we need to adapt the property to a specific features of the example. In this case, this example is starting zero. Oh, but I have no formula for the zero. No. Ah, oh, well, okay, you put outside zero. Because one summation from zero to 14 is zero, one, two, well, no, plugging in in the specific formula, no, okay, is two case, to k, uh, k squared minus 4, sorry. But the thing I tried to explain, this is n0, n1, and so on. So we have no formula when including 0, no formula. However, we have formulas always when starting. Si start in no 1 and no 0 and starting arbitrary number, for example, this example 4, do you understand very well the example 3 guy or no? Huh? A little bit, a little. What part? What, what part is confusing? Okay, the new the new guy try, the new the new guy try to bring in this example was que my summation está en sí. Look, that is a new. Pero suppose que no, que my summation está en one to 14, and the uh, explicit formula is, it's clear, change is clear. Uh -huh. Let me finish, let me finish for uh, for another students. Suppose that we start in one. For the moment, ignore this zero. We start in one, and the same explicit formula, okay? So basically, I using I using that formula, get the property six. Remember, property six say summation from k1 to m of the k square is equal m m plus one, 2m plus one divided by six, at least for that part, this k square. Now, the other part is pretty easy. It's just a constant for multiplication by 14 and 56. So we're using that formula, and that formula n is 14. So 14 here, 
15 here and 29 here, we're going from 29 was 15 times 2, 15 times 2, no, 14, times 2 get 28 plus 1 is 29. And the rest you put in the calculator and end the story. Super cool. Cool or no? It's a little bit or super clear. Say something. Understand now. Okay. We'll talk. Okay. I want to remember. I am a complicated guy. You know that. I don't want a stupid example. I want example to try to think in and apply the property that we are learning today, you know? And uh, suppose now, this summation, the starting thing, wow, and ending in 60. And the explicit formula inside the summation notation is 2K. Okay, no problem, I understand. I understand. Because to a second time, I put up outside like a common factor, factor out. And we focus it in this. 60. So 60, 60, 60. 60. Okay. But what's the problem? Pay attention. The problem is that I know that formula. Summation from K1 to M of K is equal to M m plus 1 divided by 2. Now that formula is under the supposition that you start in 1, no intent. However, however, I have another property that allow me to split, split the, the summation in two summations. So I propose one idea. I propose the following idea. These two I just copy equal to now you separate this matrix actually go from 10 to 60 i separate into summation. one summation can start in one because i need one here i need one here because my formula is starting one because one summation can go 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 from one to 60 of the same k and you subtracting another summation that go, go, go from one to nine. Where come from this nine? Let me try to explain. Actually, this summation go to, to the 10. Look, it's a one, it's a two, it's a three, it's a four, it's a five, it's a six, seven, nine, 10, 11, blah, 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 and ending in 60, you know? I need this summation. Let me use another goal. I need this summation. So one strategy is, you compute the blue summation. Okay, from 1 to 60. This is the blue. And you subtracting now the green summation, case okay, this. It's another summation, okay, starting one. This is the most important idea. And ending at 9. When you subtracting the, the blue summation minus the green summation, of course you have the red. It's exactly you need. You understand this idea? This is the most complicated, in my opinion, to understand. Uh, opinion, opinion, opinion. I want to hear something. It's a clear chain, but a chain always is clear. I don't. Another opinion. You understand very well? So my summation is strong cat. So actually, the, the 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 elementary initial beginning example is starting one. But suppose that you are starting in another number, not necessarily 10, 5, 4, 20. And to say now, you need to be aware that my formulas can I have in my property is starting one. So say, why not? You split 10 to 60 into pieces, 1 to 60 get the blue bar, and one to nine, get the green bar, because I need from 10 to 60, get the 
the red one, que es exactly, I need, I need that. Guy, clear or no? Si it's not clear, it's playing in another way. Yeah, yeah. yeah Gustavo dice clear. Okay, Gustavo, entonces keep in mind, Gustavo, que when the mind summation no está en one, you need to use your imagination in order to split and to summation, que both summation está en one. Okay, now the rest is pretty easy because it's a formula. Don't forget, uh -huh. understood. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget that to okay, we put outside at the beginning, beginning, beginning. Uh -huh. So you compute this summation like a 60 times 61 divided by 2. I suppose you remember that formula, get this formula. M is 60, multiplication by 61, plus M plus 1 divided by 2, minus 9 times 10 divided by 2. And the rest is just calculated. 30, 61, um, 45, whatever, right? The answer is 3,507. After you want to check it, but I do several times. Cool? Let's practice. Let's practice two more complicated examples. Example five is compute summation from K4 to 24 of K cubic. K cubic. Wow, K cubic. K cubic. Okay, so no constant, no problem. K cubic. Let me recall the formula. Okay, the last property, property number seven. Summation from K1 to M of K cubic is equal to N square, N plus one square over, over four. No? Uh, one, one easy way to memorize this. You need to memorize, you need to use in the more divide to memorize something, no? This is, you remember this formula that we are using the majority of the time. And see, u square, unbelievable, is the same formula. Okay, there are no easy explanation why square is cubic, but it's, it's, it's a formula you draw to me. Okay, now, in this moment, I need to do it using this formula. But this formula is starting one. If so you split from one to 24 and subtracting from one again, this is the most important one here in the, in the bar. Two, 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 20, two, 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 three. Two, three, because it's, you know, let, let me see. Is I need to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, continue taka 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 to twenty-four. I need the upper. I need the red part. The upper, the red part. So, so to compute the red part, we can use say, for example the blue bar. Okay, this minus 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 the green part. And the green part is this. From one to three. Okay, I forgot important thing. Okay, the same argument as k cubic. Okay. Okay. Again, one more time. I ask. It's clear this idea. In my opinion, this is the most complicated part because the rest is calculated. The rest is calculated. I did in that way. Look, using this formula. Okay. By the way, it's the same. You divide by two, so 24 multiplied by 25 is m plus one divided by two, and you square everything. Minus uh, three times four m plus one divided by two is square. And the answer is wow, is 89,000. 
it's logic against big number because it's cubic. However, in the formula is not cubic, it's a square. Uh -huh. Too much? It's confusing? Uh -huh. One more example gets very, very confusing. Look, example six. Suppose, summation from K20 to 50 of 80. Oh, but 80 is a constant, not depending of K, and you explain at the beginning K S multiplication 50, this and this, no? But this is, is valid when it is 1, K is 1, but when it's 20, no. So what is the formula of first one? Well, the formula is U subtraction, subtraction 50, is the upper, minus 20, is the lower, 50 minus 20, but plus 1, and multiply by 8. Y plus one, Y plus one, and where the result is when it's one here, it's not plus one. The formula C in the in the scenario get K1 to 50. And it's easy. A 50 times 80. By the way, 40 and two, two more C. 4,000. In this case, plus one, because actually in between 20 and 50, we have we have 31 numbers. All right, let me fix. You apply the formula using plus one. Is 50? Uh, sorry, 80. Okay, this number. Sorry, 50 minus one plus one. Wow, and one plus one cancel out, and this is just multiplication. In this case, the answer is differently, is, is uh, 80, multiplication by 31. We are going from 31, 50 minus 20, 30, plus 1, 31. And the answer is 2,408. Wow. Do you hear the, the rain? A heavy raining here in my house. In my office, no? It's out the house. Uh, do you understand the last part of confusion? I think I understand this. Say again? I think I understand this. Cool. Okay. Let's, let's stop. Temporary for the summation notation. No summation notation anymore so far. Yeah, I want to study now the two super important sequences. The first one is arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. What is arithmetic sequence? What definition? Arithmetic sequence. One example to understand clearly. Suppose that sequence, 4, 6, 8, 10, comma, yeah, I suppose that, 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 can continue the same part. So you, so you try to understand or classify this sequence, you subtraction, 6 minus 4 is 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, 10 minus 8 is 2, wow, and 2 is a common difference. And the one different exists is equal to constant, two, 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 or three, 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 or four, four, four. And so say, uh, your classification como arithmetic sequence. So what are the formulas? We're using the explicit formula. Explicit formula. For the arithmetic sequence, in general, a, a sub m, 
es igual a A1 plus A minus 1 D. Who is A1? A1 and the force in this example. Who is D? D is the common difference, que es 2. In one particular example, A sub N is equal to 4 plus N minus 1 times 2. Leave it like that? No. No, of course, no. You apply the elementary algebra. A sub N is equal to 4. Apply distributive property to N minus 2. Uh, now, why not? Combine that term. 2N, 4 minus 2 is 2. Bang! And we have the formula que generate this sequence. S2 n minus 2. Wow, beautiful. Suppose that in the test I asked you, compute the, the position, bam, 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 41. So when the n is 41. Suppose that I want to compute for the n f41 equal 41. I need to compute a41. It's obvious that this is a1, this is a2, this is a3, this is a4. Ah, there's a 41. It's easy. It's 2 times 41 minus 2. And the answer is 162. 162 is exactly the value of the secret in that position. Okay, guys, this, this is the most important formula. When you discover oh, okay, this is the arithmetic sequence, we always use it, this form. Explicit. But we have another second formula of the summation and the arithmetic sequence. Look. Suppose summation from K1 to M of the A to K, he, I know that this sequence is arithmetic sequence. Okay, by the way, it's equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus da, 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 ending in a sub n. And we have one specific formula for the solution. N arithmetic sequence. Yes. A1 plus A2 multiplication by M. Wow. Okay. Multiplication by n divided by 2. Let's see example to clarify this idea. Uh -huh. Okay, it's easy. Look, suppose that we have that sequence. Example 1 is suppose 60 plus 64 plus 68. Plus 72. Plus, bam, 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 no idea how many. Plus, the last guy is 120. I need to find this one. Let me call A sub M. S sub M. It is a summation. So A sub M is one by one. A1 is 60. A2 is 64, and so on. Ba, 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 ba. But S sub n is a summation. And by the way, it's the equivalent to say summation from K1 to M of A sub n. This is equivalent. It's the same thing. So you apply that formula. The formula say, ah, it's easy. You take the first, it's A sub 1. It is. You take the last, it's 120, it's A sub n. You add each other. So 60 plus 120 divided by 2 and multiplication by m. 
Pero who is them? No idea. Because it's not clear how many guys you are in this equation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to find out, it's easy. One more time, we use in the formula. The formula. So in that formula, I want to copy again. A sub m is equal to a1 plus a minus 1d. Because I know, I know, I know that the last guy is 120. The a1 is the first, is 60. Full. And no idea. A minus 1. But d is 4. Look at that. 64 minus 64. 68 minus 64, 4. 72 minus 68, 4. Everything is 4. D is 4. What is the only unknown I have in this equation? M. Okay, let's do it. It's 120 minus 60 divided by 4. So I'm moving 60 subtraction divided by 4 is multiplication and subtraction is equal to M minus 1. I put it in my calculator, A15. Therefore, n alone is 15 plus 1, k 16. Wow. This summation contains 16 elements. But I don't care. Uh, the most important for me is not how many, you know. What is, the, what is the final answer, the summation? that you multiply by 16. And you put in a calculator like that, is 1,404. Do you understand this example? Guy, answer. Yeah, yeah Gutao, Gutao always understand. Okay, because one more example of the summation using uh, arithmetic signals. Look, example two arithmetic signals. Suppose four plus. Let me put it a little bit. 4.5 plus 5 plus 5.5 plus pa, 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 plus 100. Compute this summation. Summation M. And by the way, I don't know how many turn. So remember, N. We don't know. But we know the first one. A1, A4. That guy. AM is 100. That guy. Okay. The formula say A1 plus AM division by 2 multiplication by M. Okay. So far we have A sub M is 4 plus 10, uh, 100 divided by 2, and you need to determine M. And I use the formula again, similar example. A sub M is equal to A1 plus A minus 1 multiplication. Ah, I forgot all with D. D is, is the, the first thing you should do is determine D. Because the D is no constant, it's no arithmetic, because we're using another formulas. Subtracting 4.5 minus 4 is 0.5. 5 minus 0.5. minus 0.5. D is 0.5. Uh -huh. Entonces, A sub M is 100. And my problem. A1 is 4. A minus 1, multiplication by 0.5. Okay. So for M, 100 minus 4. Divided by 0.5, get exactly the same multiplication by 2, is equal to n minus 1. Mm -hmm. And so now I put in the calculator of this, is 192. Therefore, n along is 193. You remove one addition to the other side. What is the answer? No. The answer is m. Yeah, I need to multiply this by 193. I'm to the formula, no? m. Substitution here. But the formula is a sub. Actually, we are doing the summation 193 numbers. 
pero no han comprado fórmula. Entonces, de, de fórmula, por el negativo es 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. ¿Y si da o no? Let me see your face. Everything okay? The noise of the rain is, is about you, no? Or you don't hear too much. Because it's a strong storm. All right. It's okay, it's a good talk. It's okay. Well, okay. Let me try to explain the last topic today, que es de geometry. Another important, important sequence is geometric. Geometric sequence. Okay, let me try to do my best. Geometric sequence. One example to understand geometric sequence. Suppose this. Four. 16, 64, da, 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 da. So now you don't know anything, but remember to discover the pattern, you subtracting or division. In this case, when you subtracting, it's 12. When you subtracting 64 minus 16, 48. Mm. So conclusion, this sequence is not arithmetic. However, if you are doing division, you divide this divided by this, 16 divided by 4, and so forth, and 64 divided by 16. So this is geometric sequence. And the geometric sequence has one thing, okay, it's called common ratio. Remember, in arithmetic, we have common differences. D and geometric, we have common ratio. The name is R, little R. And the explicit formula for the geometric sequence is A sub M is equal A1, get the first multiplication by R raised to the N minus one. It's like an exponential. Exponential. Example. Wow, too, too heavy. Do you hear me well or no? Well, somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. Well, let me try to finish this idea. I, you know, this missing the class. And we continue because almost we finish this. Yes, yes, the top. Okay, let me finish that part. Look, in this specific example, I want to find the formula for that sequence. What is the formula? What is the formula? What is the formula? Well, the formula is this is the formula in general, A sub n. A is equal A1, or A1, A4. Multiplication by R. For R is a coincidence, it's a 4, or it's a coincidence. A minus. Uh, we can put together, why not, a 4 to them. And this is a formula for this element. Let, let me try, let me try. Suppose N1. N2, 
and two. Okay. And one, and so with the four. Four to the one, and four. Look at that. This guy. Four, two, two to the second power, and 16. To the third power, four cubic, and 64. Because 16 times four is 64. Also, also, let me try another example. At least let me finish one more time. And we continue next time. I suppose. Okay. Suppose this example. One half. It's over two. Suppose what sigma is given. One half, comma, one over four, comma, one over eight, comma, ba 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 ba. Where's the goal? The goal is determine the explicit format, the insuperable format. No idea. So say I suspect this geometry sequence. To confirmation, you divide. You divide one over four, divided by one half. And you divide any element, divided by previous. So say it's one over four, time flip it up, two over one, okay, two over four, Always reducing lower term one half. Likewise, you divide one over eight, divide by one over four. Similar, one over eight times four over one, reciprocal, four over eight, reducing lower term and one. Cool. So I discover, yes, it is geometry sequence and the common ratio is one half. So, what is the formula? Well, the formula is that formula. I bring down that formula. A sub n, A is equal A sub 1, R n minus 1. In this case, A1 is this guy, 1 half. And R is a coincidence with 1 half. So in both examples, it's a coincidence, but not always half. N minus 1. So you put together. You apply the, you know, the property for the exponent, the same base adding the exponent. So this is exponent one, and then minus one is just way to the end. Okay. Yeah, it will, we almost finish. Okay, and now it's not raining too heavy now. So what is the formula for the summation? And the, Geometric sequence. The formula is summation. Suppose we have summation from k1 to m of the a sub k. And I suppose that the sequence inside the summation is geometric. Sequence. The formula is. A1 is the first parenthesis 1 minus r to the n. Remember, n indicates the number of elements you are adding in the summation divided by 1 minus. Suppose one elementary example. 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 The number? 3. Suppose that you adding one half plus one over four plus one over eight. Three, three guys, because I want to verify that form. My goal is now verification that form. This is summation, only three elements. Summation, only three elements from K1 to three of the expression k by the way is the same expression that we we found before no a one half plus one four plus one yeah 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 I know that the formula is one half raised to the n power 
or k power because the index variable is k. Okay, let's do it first by the elementary. So using arithmetic by hand, not calculator. So the least common denominator is a. So we have four, four, four over eight is one half, and two over eight is one four, and one over eight is so big one over eight. And the answer is six plus one seven over eight. It is. Uh, I want to using that formula. And so that formula, I suppose that you are doing well, you get the same answer, no? But the advantage of the formula is, you see, we have no three, we have 300 by hand is crazy, um, but the formula is acceptable. So what is the first guy in the, in the, in the sequence? One half. So the formula say one half, I tried the formula here, one half, look, one half, one half. Uh, parenthesis one minus the common ratio is again one half so one half raised to the n power the n is three in our example because n is three close the parenthesis divided by one minus one half because the common ratio r is one so in our example i suppose that a one and one half i suppose that a sub m no no a sub a no Common ratio R is one half again. It's a coincidence, you no, know, we have it, and N is three. Okay, let me try to do my best. One half is A, one over A, parenthesis is, you know, one QB over two QB is one over A, no? Because one QB is one, and two QB is eight. And then one minus one over eight, 1 over 1 over 8, sorry, divided by 1 minus 1 half and 1 half again. Wow, and this is canceled. And we have 1 minus 1 over 8. Okay, the least common denominator again is 8. So we have 8 minus 1, okay, for sure is 7. So this formula allows us to compute the summation of the first element and one geometry series. Let me summarize the formula, guys, of this, because next time we work with this. And that's it for today. Too much brain. Look, we have arithmetic and geometric. Arithmetic sequence. Geometric sequence. What is the formula for this? You have to formula. A sub A, A sub A. A sub M, A sub M, S sub M. S is obvious the summation. This is A1 plus A minus 1B. And this is A sub 1 plus A sub M divided by 2. Multiplication everything by M. And the geometric is A1 R M minus 1. And the summation is we are formula is a sub one parenthesis one minus r m parenthesis divided by one minus. R. This is the most important guys in the formula in the review that we need to use. Okay. Okay. Stop. Too much. Too much. Too much. Uh, remember, guys. I repeat again. The last day for do everything is July 24. I do not accept extension. I do not accept you are sick. So you are sick, I put zero. Okay, see, I just when I compute the average, I suppose that you the score is going down. So now, obviously, try to do your best. Remember, uh, Wednesday, we cover the, the last part and start review. And Tuesday, I finish the review. I suppose I finish early, not too long review, because it's short. That part is short. Uh -huh. And yeah, Wednesday we have no lecture. No, no, no. Wednesday, next week. So next Wednesday. This Wednesday, of course, yes. And next Tuesday, yes. Lecture. And next Wednesday. Okay.